because it is the game commander of Activity and we're at by Wolfcraft Season 2. Uh, this is the Wolfcraft server that me and my friend Sam are playing on. This is part forget, actually. Um, but in this one, which you already know from the title of the video here, is we're going to be building a squid farm because I've been noticing that I've been using a lot of co like, like concrete and stuff. Um, and I want to use more for a lot of builds. And I know one of the the uh, dies we still don't have in general and this would be good for Sam because because if ever he needs any dies he can use which I don't think I told him that he can use my flower from behind me or I don't know I'm still debating off if I want to sell the flowers or if, which I think I may but um either way basically he can well the, the, the dies are basically available for both me and him to use um so yeah we're gonna be building a squid farm right it's, it's gonna go right next to my rocket farm I built um so yeah, also in this video we're going to be doing a overview of the server because uh, a lot has been built by Sam and so I'm going to show it off. Um, he's built a lot. He, like I will say though, I will say, which I always say to tell Sam, like he is a better builder, like he, he'll, he'll, t better builder in Minecraft than I am. Not as, um, mainly because like when he wants to go build something on the server he'll he'll do it and he'll actually see it through and he actually he'll actually have he'll actually make it look good and stuff like he i would say he, he a lot of when it comes to building i think he's better at it than me um i think i'm a pretty decent builder as well as you can see but like i think he's better than me by at least like 10 percent you know but anyways that's i just wanted to make that comment but anyways uh yeah um, so i'm going to Show you what we got. Uh, I've already off camera collected all the blocks we need. They're in this chest. We're gonna go with these blocks here: some terracotta, some concrete, uh, and some white blue. I mean, I probably need to pause it. We'll go for more blocks, but uh, for the terracotta, we have a little area of terracotta. Like uh, to get terracotta over in that direction, I believe Sam, yeah, Sam found it um a while back. But yeah, let me go and I'm gonna start the show you where it needs to be built. But before then, where is. Um, I need. I always have. I always have two buckets on me and I end up losing one. Let me grab some water here. I. I also need to Google actually how the squid spawning works. I think it's not. I don't think. Let me go do that. To make sure it's not like you. To make sure you don't need to put it. Because I don't think you need to put it above like a river or anything. So let me go see. All right, I'm back. And yes, it seems like you can just build a farm wherever. Um, so we're gonna build it over here. I just put that on this trees. Um, or right over here. So let's knock around this tree. It's gonna be a smaller one. It's not gonna be a big giant like squirt uh, farm um it will be a giant a squid though like a like a like it's gonna be a squid that's gonna be floating up here so figure this would be a good spot for it it's kind of an open area and it is part of my area and this i always thought that something needed to go here um so but yeah i'm going to go build this off camera um if I had a third person camera, by the way, guys, I would build it on camera and show perspective, like a time lapse perspective of my third person camera. But I don't. Um, that is a future thing I want to do, though. I definitely want to have like a like a floating, you know, spectator person in different angles and have it all like time lapse and stuff. But um, I mean, unless you guys want me to show off by first the first person view, but I don't know. I I don't think that so. Anyways, we're, I'm going to go build it off camera, and I'll be right back in a sec. Alright guys, I am back, and there he is. This is the... Let's go into spectator, so I can vibe out and show you a better angle here. This this is my squid. Tiny little floating squid. Um, what he looks like. I think I did a great job with him. Uh, I'll throw up a picture of what he actually looks like in Minecraft. Uh, his face at least, his front face there. I think it looks pretty good for the size I wanted it, because I didn't want to make it a big one. Uh, so yeah, this is what it looks like. It's a 360 view. I even added in the little uh, 
the little tendrils, the little, the little uh, I don't know what they're called, I guess you would call them legs for squid, I guess these would be the legs. Um, got little legs, all open at the bottom. So yeah, uh, the plan is for now is just to have a the collection system for it, just to have a rail system, just have a bunch of rails, and then eventually change these off to LAs once I can find LAs. Uh, one thing I wish they did is is made them where you can read the the VLAs because I feel like getting it with vanilla it seems to be hard, and then also just cause you only get like you only get like three or four. Uh, cause you can, you, the, the way it works is they're caged up in by the Illager towers, and you need to basically f go in, uh, and uh, you need to actually go and uh, look, like fly around, and look for them. So, and the only like I said before, you only get like three to f three or four of them per t per one Illager tower per thing. Uh, maybe you can get lucky like, at two of those little cage things, which used to be for iron golems, but then they changed them up for the LAs, which makes sense. It's a good spot to put them, but they're just hard as hell to find. So. Sort of wish there was a way to breed them somehow, maybe you know. Uh, but yeah. So, anyways, let me go and make the actual collection system off camera here. Get this up, and I'll be right back in a second. Hi right, guys, I am back, and I finished off the farm here. As you can see, there's an addition at the bottom. I'm just gonna turn down my sound so you guys don't get uh. I don't know which one it is. I think it's that. But yeah. I already showed off the pixel art squid here. Now let's see the bottom. Yeah, you have a uh, collection system. You have a hop minecart going all around, and what happens when? Uh, well, what happens is when an item, you know, is on here, they'll pick it up to the slabs, and then bring them to here. And then when the items are again going through this, it will stop. The it will get detected via this comparator. This is an old system I actually found a figured out myself, which turns off this torch, which turns off this, which stops this from going. So yeah, and you get the top and the inside of, of the squid here, which is just layers of water. You have, so, you know, oh, I gotta fix that. Layer of water, then then you have uh, signs, a layer of air, so they drop down, and then another layer of water, and signs and then water and then they finally drop down uh i did that i did it this way so that way it can um work better be better i don't know uh, to me it just made sense because having it all water meaning that they can just swim without without any consequences and stuff so i added the layers of air um oh, i missed a spot let me fix that really quickly here you just put it in there. So, anyway, so yeah, that is a full inside. Um, again, I don't know if they're actually gonna spawn here. I gotta, I gotta leave it and see. Uh, I may add to. I mean, what I may do is I may add like. I don't know. I may have to add like a lot uh, air pockets to like leave like. Uh, this open and then next would have another set of signs, just just one two two one two high, one block deep uh thing of signs every so often so that way the uh squid cannot fall better or faster, make it more efficient basically. Uh but yeah, let me fix the top here. Now I tabbed I wish do that. Uh, oh, I don't actually have it on me. Oh, and I... I'll fix it later. But yeah, that is a squid. And now let's take a look at the actual... Sorry. This squid farm is now done. Now let's go see the rest of the server here. Like I said, I was going to. So as you see, we got more additions. We got more trees around the area. Uh, Sam's creatures are coming along nicely. Uh, like this tree here. As you can see as well, he has a beacon and I have a beacon, and then I have another star. Same end interest. They have the trees. He added these little lights. Also, apparently, I didn't know, you, I guess you can 
formula a tree and get a beehive to spawn on that tree. I did not know that was a thing. I always thought you had to find them. I guess it's like a 1% chance of getting them, and he got one here. Um, I say a 1% chance, yet yeah, I'm pretty sure he got another one somewhere along, somewhere else. But, I, that must be a new thing. He got his horse. So yeah, anyways, got all this. Got the lights that go on during the nighttime. A bell that I added here for the hell of it. Uh, remember the pathway. More trees. His 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 part of the server over here. You got his his home base. His other houses he's building. His condo buildings he's building for some reason, which I'm not gonna go inside of him. I'm just gonna show you the outside. I like it pretty cool. Then you have the new crop farm, crop farm, which I think he finished or is almost done with it. So let's go take a look at the inside in a sec. Let's just, I'll show you a little. I'll show you the outside. This is what this looks like from different angles. Right upon the iron farm, which we are planning on moving. He asked me if 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 we can if he he was like, hey, you want me to move or should I? Do you want? He was like, "Hey, do you want me to move the um this iron farm in NC Edit because it would be easier to do that?" I said, "Go for it." And so originally he's gonna move that across the street to over here, so it's gonna go across the way. So I think it'd be a good idea to put it here because it's kind of can't really see it, you know. That yeah, this is the inside. I don't think he's actually done with it, but. So it looks pretty cool. You have a lot of piping and stuff, which is toppers going into the thing. Got the filters on top. Let's see what we got. We got wheat, we got potatoes, we got wheat, and we got seeds. Alright, let's go around in spectator and show off the it's on here, so nice little filters going. Looks like you have another filter going, or something. Is that a dropper? Uh, interesting. All right, let's go and take a look at these first level. So, wow, that's that's not a lot of microbes. So it collects all the stuff, any extra stuff, I guess. I don't know why he has a... Oh, that's all filled up. Oh, your stuff's back up there, Sam. Oh, it's just filtering out a bunch of bow mail, somehow. Don't know why there's a dropper there. I guess it. Well, not now I realize why there's a dropper there. It drops in, in the hopper, which then goes over here, which then goes this way. So. Everything is just getting filtered out. So, I think. I think you may want to fix this because it looks like some bone got stuck uh, in your system here and it's stopping stuff from going down because there's no filter for bone meal. You got potatoes, carrots, wheat, beetroot, seeds, and the beetroot seeds. So, which the bone meal somehow ended up in here. I don't know how. But yeah, these are the crop farms, the villagers. He looks stuck, maybe. I looks stuck. I mean... Yeah, I, I, I think he's stuck. He's 
just kind of like walking back and forth. <laughs> All right, let's check out the next layer here. So again, another one of those things. Oh, it's a tube thing. Okay, that's cool. That makes sense. So it goes back and forth. You got these villagers here. And another layer. Same thing. Ah, oh, that's different. It's the same thing, but this time it's a villager that picks the stuff up. Okay, I see. I guess you ran out of rails him. You... Sorry if I'm directly uh, saying his name for his sake and for your sake. Um, I thought you... I didn't realize you can go in here. Whoops. That's why there's a layer in between, because you can view these guys. That's cool. And then you got eight those at the top, I think. This should be the last layer. So, same thing. He ran, must have ran out of rails. I had a bunch, but whatever. That's a lot of powered rails, dude. You didn't need that many parallels, par powered rails, I don't think, but whatever. Oh no. Did I say it was beetroot, carrot, uh, potato, and then you got the top portion here, which you can again get to. Nice little garden area. That's cool. I like that, Sam. That was a good idea. So, nice little garden area on top. This kind of reminds me, that kind of reminds me, the top part of a real life, um, Kind of like uh, real life um, building, they would have. They would always have like the top up, be like a garden. Slash, it also reminds me of a say you can get like these little figurine things, uh, where the top of the figurine has like the little. Uh, there's a cat up there. Has a actual um, like grass like garden area part, and it's like a whole like neat little figurine thing for um, like a. Something you'd put on like your shelf type of thing. Little cat up here. Cat. Cat. I mean, it's fine, but like, come on. Uh, I don't understand why. I don't want to hit my villagers, so I'm just gonna. Oh. I don't know how, I don't know how it happens. I literally made sure that they can't spawn. Let's see if I can fix this at all. Let's fix it. There you go. Alright, let me fix this really quickly, and then I'll end it here in a sec. Sorry about this, I just... Apparently... There we go. I know it's a little cheating, but again, I yeah, I would just grab string and survival and do it anyway, so makes no difference. Uh, we have a spider string farm. It will take two seconds. Stuff like that, like to me it's not cheating because it's like we have the farm already made, it's just me going there, getting it, and then coming back and then placing it. And survival basically. That makes no difference. But anyways guys, hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, don't forget to like comment and subscribe. I will See you guys in the next one. Peace out.